everyone, in this video we're going to show you how to draw class 1 cavity outlines in maxillary and mandibular teeth. For this same video in Arabic, kindly check the link in the description box below. We will start with mandibular teeth. So we're going to start with the second molar or tooth number 7 according to the FDI tooth numbering system. The second molar has four cusps. Okay, We're going to start with the triangular fossa through the central groove to the other triangular fossa. Okay, so we're going to have a straight line and then we're going to go to the buccal and lingual. Okay, so you can start from the middle or from the distal or from the mesial to draw the outline. It doesn't matter, but we're going to start here from the distal. Okay, so we're going to start from one triangular fossa, go through the central groove to the other triangular fossa. Okay, so it's going to be approximately a straight line. Okay, so we're going to go from one triangular fossa to the other triangular fossa on the other side. Okay, then we're going to extend buccally and lingually. Okay, we're going to go halfway from the center of the central groove. We're going to extend buccally, okay, and then lingually the same thing. From the center of the central groove, we're going to extend. So we're going to have a cross shape. Okay, so the outline in the seven is cross shape. Moving on to the first molar or tooth number six, okay, uh, we can see that it's going to be a little bit different, the outline, because there is the distal cusp in the uh, first molar, okay? So when we start drawing the outline, we're going to start either from the center or from the distal or from the mesial, it doesn't matter, okay? But here I'm going to start with the distal, okay? So we're going to start from the central groove, okay? from one triangular fossa going through the central groove to the other triangular fossa, okay? We usually start with the central groove. After that, we're going to extend buccally halfway. Also, you don't want to overextend so you don't weaken the cusps, okay? Halfway buccally and then halfway lingually, okay? After that, we don't forget the distal groove because we have here the distal cusp. Okay, it's going to be, it's small, but it's going to be there. Okay, so this is the outline of the sixth. In our outline, we include only the main grooves and not the supplementary grooves. Moving on to the second premolar or tooth number five, it's the same principle. We're going to go from one triangular fossa to the other triangular fossa going through the central groove. Okay. So we go from one to the other. And in the lingual, we don't forget that we have two cusps, so we have to go through the lingual groove, okay? We also extend it halfway not to weaken the lingual cusps. So this is the outline, and the outline looks like a Y shape. Okay, moving on to the first premolar or tooth number four. The outline is two pits, so we preserve the ridge or we call them also as snake eyes, okay? Uh, because there is a ridge in the middle. Uh, but also, according to your school, if your school uh, mentioned that they wanted you to uh, join both pits together, you know, to do like a straight line, uh, you follow your school's instructions. This is the outline for mandibular teeth. Moving on to the maxillary teeth. So, the class one outlines for maxillary teeth we're going to start with the first premolar or tooth number four. It's the same concept. We're going to go from the triangular fossa to the triangular fossa, okay? So we're going to draw here a line. And in the upper premolar, upper first premolar, it's going to be similar to a straight line, okay? So this is the outline for the first upper premolar. Moving on to the second upper premolar, it is very similar to the four. We're going to go from the pit to the pit or from the fossa to the fossa, okay? And it's also a straight line, okay? Moving on to the first molar or the upper six, okay, we can see here that we have um, four cusps, okay, two buccal and two lingual. And we can see that we have the oblique ridge in the upper molars, 
okay? We want to preserve it when we draw the outline. We can start drawing the outline either from the mesial or from the buccal or from the center, okay? It doesn't matter. Here we're going to start from the center, okay? So we're going from the center to the mesial, okay, until the mesial triangular fossa, and then we will go buccally half of the way or two-thirds of the way without overextending it to not weaken the buccal cusps. Okay, it is very important not to go in the supplementary groove. We are just going in the main grooves, okay? So here it looks like, like a, a little L shape or a little uh, kidney shape, okay? Moving on to the distal. The distal is almost gonna be like a straight line, okay? So we can see the groove here, okay? So we're going to follow the groove, okay? Going a little bit okay lingually without weakening the lingual cusps and then extending a little bit buccally and it looks like a little oval shape okay moving on to the second molar or the upper seven okay uh, it is going to be a similar outline to the six except that it is smaller because the dimension is smaller okay we make sure we don't go to the supplementary groove we want to be in the main grooves okay the similar thing here we started from the mesial going to the center going to the buccal moving on to the distal it is the same thing we're going to go to the distal groove and draw our outline so this is the outline for the maxillary teeth here is a summary for all of the outlines for the mandibular and maxillary teeth thank you very much and see you in the next video